Hello, my name is Cheryl Wilson, and I wanted to talk to you today about incorporating an art gallery in your house. And these are just some photos of how I display my art in my home. And periodically, uh, outside of COVID, I will have uh, a little party at my house or a gathering or um, you know wine and cheese and people can go around and see my art and the pieces that are for sale I have them marked on the back where people can ask me and uh, I have incorporated my home as an art gallery for people to actually purchase pieces of art from me. So it's just an idea for you, um, you know, a way to think outside the box. And I initially just had pieces in my, my art studio and I realized that I needed one more room and two when I was putting pieces in my hallway and then different places in my house, people would come over and say, is that for sale? So basically, I have my home set up as an art gallery. So I wanted to kind of do a little video for you, and I hope it's not too boring, to just show you um, how I display art in my home. I enjoy it myself, plus I can um, have a mini art gallery. So I hope this inspires you, gives you some ideas, and share any ideas you might have. Thank you. As you walk in my front door, I have art pieces that I've displayed, like a mini art gallery. And I do change them up, but every one of them is for sale. There may be one or two that I love and I decide to keep. A couple of those are ones I did for a class. There's a sculpture that I did. As you go up my stairs, there again is another painting by Adelia Wilson. I absolutely love her work. And then there's a blue one up there. That's one that is in my collection I like to keep. So as you go up the stairs, I've added my yellow, kind of violet paintings. So that's what you see. This is our guest room where I've put um, quite a few pieces of art, some big ones and medium sized ones. The two blue ones and then an uh, orange one that kind of brings in the uh, pillows decoration I have in this room then there's a real large one on the wall by the bed and then I have a couple more over there in the corner so again you can display your art anywhere that um, you have space on your walls and um, you can enjoy um, having people walk through your house if you if you think you'd like that and here's one of my guest bathrooms and again a smaller painting just above the where you wash your hands you come around this way and here's another painting by Adelia my daughter-in-law she's an incredible artist so I incorporate her art in many places and here's a sample of a lot of real cute mini art I have a lot of mini pieces that I had in my outside studio that sold, uh, a lot of them sold. And I have a lot of the beautiful pores 
but down here is kind of like my room where it just reminds me of the ocean and um, it's, it's just a very uh, calming room for a bathroom. There's another pour. But um, this is just another idea of places where I, I put my art. This is just a real quick snapshot of a couple paintings in my husband's office in our workout area. Here's another room where I've added my art. And let me just stand um, that piece. And then there's a piece over there that match each other. And then that piece there is like it's a bigger version of the one that was on HGTV. So over here is another, I keep in here the theme, kind of like the black and white, more of a, a modern um, theme in here. Again, I don't mind people walking through my house and um, picking a piece of uh, art out because my my home is my gallery there's my cat um, she's <laughs> sitting by the fire I put fake fires on uh, that piece over there on the tall dresser the the man's dresser over there is uh, one of the first pieces again that I did not the very first but it was just a depiction of my life so that will always, that's never for sale, that's mine. Then over here, I do put other people's art in my home because I love it. That piece is a commission piece by Adelia Wilson and that piece there is a piece by Nicholas Wilton. It was a gift to me, um, one of the seminars um, he had and um, I was chosen to receive this piece, so I was really happy for that. And then this wall over here is again some more of the black and white. There's I think a 20 by 20s, or 24 by 24, I forget. And even some little pieces that I will put, sneak around in different parts of my home to, to display. And here's a couple um, framed um, abstracts so I try to utilize as much space as I can on my home walls so that when people come over for a get-together we can walk around the house and I have sold pieces right off the wall so it's something to think about if you haven't ever thought about it before in uh, another bathroom. This is the, actually this is the bathroom where I put my makeup on and brush my teeth. So um, I add art there. This is a resin piece that I absolutely love because if I get new toothpaste on there by accident, then I can just wipe it off. Resin is beautiful. I do uh, several pieces in my house in resin. There's just a flow art piece that um, seemed to just blend well in that little space. That's an alcohol ink piece that um, I absolutely love. That piece is just a watercolor and acrylic behind glass to add um, above the um, glass shelving and another piece of resin. Resin is great for bathrooms because it um, just just keeps its, um, its beauty. Then there's another very large resin piece that I have added in there. I think that's the largest resin piece that I've done. But as you can see, you can add art uh, anywhere in your house and just make your whole house a beautiful art gallery and, and, um, and have fun and people have fun looking. And then in my last video, I did a little short video of my living room and dining room area. And again, um, is where I post uh, a lot of my art and I move it around so that there's a 
um, you know, difference when people come over. But um, I hope this gives you a good idea of things that you can do to make your house a art gallery with your art. <laughs>